Okay. What's up, y'all? Um, welcome to the channel. The very first gameplay walkthrough on this channel. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, with this channel, I aim to make walkthroughs of all types of video games, but for now, we'll just do some horror today. Um, a little bit about the game. So, this game is called Fears to Fathom. It's an episodic, episodic, episodic horror game. Um, psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. Um, that's as much as I know. Um, so other than that, we will jump right into it. I don't want to waste any more time. Um, all right. Okay. Chip is good. I'm gonna sip of water. I know scary games. Make me thirsty. Okay. So let's just jump right into episodes. So we got four options Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, Carson House, and Iron Bark Lookout, as well as a mystery one that I'm assuming we'll have to unlock later. Oh, it tells you exactly. Okay. It's gonna be about two hours. So I guess we'll just start off with Home Alone and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, okay, so I see. So the game that we're playing is Iron Bark Lookout. There are three other ones, Home Alone, which I should play first. What's this one? Okay, um, I don't think it's really chronological, so we'll just do Iron Bark Lookout for today. New game. Okay. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Okay. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by, managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Damn, a lot of reading. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. 
Okay. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It's about a two hour drive. Okay. The graphics are kind of unique. I kind of like this. It does kind of look like- oh, oh I'm driving. Oh shit. <laughs> I just thought it Well, I can't read that while I'm driving. Let me pull over. Hold on. Hello. Um. Shit. Should we just read all of them? Last lady. Hold up. We're just not gonna talk about work now. Okay. Whatever. So bright, make my eyes hurt. I wanna talk, but I really can't fight her. Her attitude is so crazy. I can't match it. She's always acting like it's me or my habits. Maybe she's right, I'm guessing. Her eyes so divine, so I can't second guess it. Okay. She's a psycho, but my hoe, I like that. Real sim shit, weird shit, I'll type back. Honestly, it's so probable for me to jump up to you just to hear your name. I hope you hear my blame, cause it's really not fun when I'm laying alone. I really wish you were here, cause my whole body is cold, real. And that's just how it go. I know you miss me, it's history, it's all like Rome. And my whole body work like clockwork, it's all habit. I just come to you and okay. fall back. All sad and then like sad and you shine in the sky, yet I need you. Yeah, all right so let's check out the little mobile home we have here huh okay this is nice shit i'd live in here i've always wanted to travel the country in a mobile home and i looked up the price of mobile homes how do we get back? Okay. Alright. It's on the road again. I lived a very solitary life. Yeah, it seems it. I'm quiet, but I am keep the memories at bay. She don't feel me anymore. She says I'm never home. I got no lights on. I'm stumped in my chair again. She never come home. She never will feel me again. I cannot differentiate your day since 2016, and it just pains me, babe. I hate to see that you miss me because the weather's cold and I'm knowing life is Got a nice playlist though. I'll tell you that. But I'm always on my ass. Fuck it though. When you rub, I'm feeling down, and when you're round, I'm feeling gone. I'm on my way to nothing. Always in the universe. Being surrounded by nature gives me happiness. Yeah, I felt that. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Hey, look, I'm gonna have to text you when I get there. This is nice. What's this? A little town? Let's pull over. Can I leave the van? That's the question. Oh, I can. Oh, this is nice. I'm tempted to go see what that's all about over there. Um, 
should probably go fill up the gas station. Let me go park over there. Sorry. Don't mind me. Okay. I'm assuming I need to go in the diner. You know, this is a lot harder to drive than you think. Alright, let me park in the back. How'd I do? Well, you know, it could have been better, but we're away from everyone, so I think they'll leave me alone. Let me go talk to this guy. It's the only person I've seen since I've started this game. If you'll talk to me. Damn. Fucking that shit. Oh. <laughs> How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Is that. You're new around here? Uh. Let's see what should I say. I'm a new staffer. You must have heard of the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. Okay. The official reports say they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened to them. Something else? rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or the Goatman. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hitchhikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. You, you go back to that burger. I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that guy alone. Oh my god. She was moonwalking for a second. <laughs> sitting next to this guy. Why the fuck you gotta shove? Is everyone else eating? You look a little lost. Just tired. Place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for a vanilla latte. How could I see that? So where are you headed? That's none of your business. <laughs> Actually, let me talk. Can I talk to him again? I'm just tired. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Well, that. Uh. Do you like your job? 
Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. Keeps me busy, that's for sure. I don't think I can handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. Alright, buddy. Who's this guy? Long day driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? Uh, I might as well just tell everyone, just in case. I'm a staffer at Iron Bank State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Uh, it's, it's my first day out here. I don't really know. We can't say, I guess. I can't imagine what the parents must be going through. Very... It's every parent's worst nightmare. It's true. You love your job, huh? Alright, let me talk to this serial killer. I'm gonna ask if I can join him. He might be able to help me later on in the game. You mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. I should have expected that. What the hell? Is he just eating dipping sauce? Not even eating the sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna sit way back here. Oh, I can't even look at the menu yet. Jesus. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? No, I didn't even look at the menu. Thanks. Okay. Got cheeseburger, grilled cheese sandwich, meatball sub, fries, chicken nuggets, onion rings, drink we got soda, coffee, frappuccino, strawberry shake. It looks strawberry. Oh my god, Barbara. <laughs> Can I? Look at the menu. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> strawberry slush, I think that says. Alright, we'll do a strawberry slush and... We'll do Barbara, you come up to me one more time before I'm done looking. No, I'm not ready to order. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, we'll get a meatball sub. And a strawberry slush. Yeah. Alright, Barbara, where are you at now? I need you. Now you're taking your sweet ass time when I need you. Hello. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready for her? Oh, uh, yes, I am. So, what can I get for you today? Oh, I can't even choose. Alright, well, I did want the meatball sub. Chicken nuggets don't sound bad either, so let's go with that. So it was a strawberry slush. Yeah, we'll do the strawberry slush, please. Uh, That'll be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Keep an eye on this guy. Taking an awfully long time to eat that cheeseburger. I really had to pee. Okay, I guess we'll get up. <laughs> Damn, why my shit so dark? I need to drink some water. Maybe I should have got some water. God damn. Hey, a flush. Alright, 
was it? Five o'clock? We're making some pretty good time. Is that guy still out there? Yep. Alright, I guess I'll go sit back down. Ah, uh, Barbara. Thank you. Oh, that looks delicious, actually. <laughs> I love the way it just levitates. And I, I didn't use no sauce. I'm a different breed in this game, I guess. I need sauce when I eat my nuggets. Ranch dressing or barbecue. What about y'all? Oh shit, I forgot to text her back. Um, remember there's a diner. Oh, passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. Well, now I see your message. I got the meatball sub. You have to try- Well, that's too late. Kayla, will you wait? Okay, I could really use a good meal. Deleting, I told you, this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe. I have never made a casserole in my life. Send you in a bit. Okay, Kayla. My shake. My slush. Some water actually in here. Oh, hey. You don't miss a beat, huh? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. I dine and dash. Oh, not let me get up. Here's the check. Your total is seven sixty. Considering I'm going to work in a forest and I don't know if I'm coming back, I'll leave you a 50 cent tip. It's because you were up my fucking ass the whole time. <laughs> hey, I got a reward. Generous. Thanks for the generous tip. I mean, it's like, what? Three dollars? <laughs> So serial killer guy left. Good to know. Wait, can I talk to the chef before I leave? Can I walk through here? I cannot. on that cheeseburger. How's it going, buddy? I'm from Roseburg. 
This place is pretty much my wait, I forgot what voice I did for him. Whatever. What about yourself? I'll do a country accent for him now. Just passing through. We'll have a safe journey. Thanks, man. Oh, did I? Did I shut this when I left? I could have sworn I did. Isn't my fucking camper strongly jammed? What does that mean? I would like to know if there's someone in my van. We're just not going to question that. Okay. So hard to turn. Oh, wasn't proud of my. Who did I hit? Eight o two p.m. Oh, we finally made it to the woods. Oh shit, I'm driving. They don't warn you nothing. They just. to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Horrors. Hey. Oh, should I have gone there? I drove past the trail first. Put in reverse. I'm assuming I have to park there. Well, just in case, you know what I'll do? In case we need to get out of here in a really quick, I'll, uh, first into the spot. Don't worry, I've done this before. That's how you know we made it. Alright, let's get up. Was I supposed to... Was I supposed to drive down this way? Oh yeah, do not enter. Okay. So I guess I have to go this way. Do not block me. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh. Holy moly! You scared me, partner. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. <laughs> May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? 
Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that so? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Jesus. Where were you even hiding? Just You were just, like, waiting. <laughs> oh, so you could see... Oh, so you knew exactly what you were doing. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Thank you. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thank you, partner. Let me open the trail gate for you. So you can see... Yeah. So you were fucking waiting on me and just did a little jump scare. Thought it'd be funny. Prank the new guy, huh? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hawk to look to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful now. Take this. Welcome to Iron Park, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, make sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach our tower 12 during your staffing. Nice. <clears throat> Hold up. If need be, you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. F to use. Well, that is not very bright, Billy. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. What do you mean by that? Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Alright, you got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Okay. Left my bag in the RV at first. Ah, shoot. Gotta run all the way back. Good to go. Can I go in this RV by any chance? No. I wonder if I can just drive my RV through. I doubt it let me. Probably a rabbit or something. No bikes, only. Bro, I swear there's something in the woods. Okay. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. We better get to our tower then, huh? Or is that our tower? What was this? This isn't ominous and creepy at all. I'm assuming that way is our tower. The only tower I see. Tower 11. That's mine.
living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. No, it ain't. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Right. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Sure, buddy. Alright, utility shack. Let's check out that first. We got the gas tank. Propane. Binoculars. My hands were cold. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go drop off my bag first. The port potty if I need it. Okay. Generator. Send it the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're on top, uh, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Just take a look around quick. It's good. Yeah, this is nice. The light switch. Oh, I got to turn on the generator. It's finally in my new home for the next few months. Man, months. All right, let's throw. Just put my bag down right here. That works. We go turn on the generator so we can get some lights. I grab all this stuff, bring it upstairs. I'm stupid, bro. Let me... <laughs> Where's the wood? Wood, wood. I had wood. Where would I put it? Nope. 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 That's good enough. Osborne Firefighter. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. Interesting. I need wood. <laughs> Alright. I'll let you do that. Oh. That's not good. I shouldn't have done that. Just for curiosity. Doesn't do anything. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I need to 
go find some wood. Hey, let me see. Power 12. No! Oh, I had it. Oh, damn it. Okay, I guess we're gonna eat. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? Where did it go? You know what? It's fine. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Smiley, trusty virtual assistant, here to help make the most of your computer today. Clickety-click. Here's a random pack for you, Mount Everest. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Console. Oh shit! Oh damn! My aim is bad. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Gotta trail him like Call of Duty zombies. Oh shit. Fuck 
out of here. Damn. There go. First guy that's spoken. I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. You were watching? Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Didn't he say his name was Jack? Not Connor? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure his name was not Connor. Okay. Uh, just looking for a change, man. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Alright, well, I still haven't found the wood. Is it downstairs or something? Okay, I can't even go downstairs anymore. Let me close this. find out. Oh. There we go. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Did you report for the night yet? Better get to it then. Here at Iron Park, you are re- Required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay. Oh, well, I was in the middle of that. Alright, I need to get the temperature reading. Cloud number hiker assisted. That'd be zero. Oh. Zero. Where did 
uh, kind of an ironic name for Firewatch. Alright, let me. Gotta get the temp. It is about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I got that, got that. What else did it need? Cloud? Let's see what the clouds would look like. Hmm. Mildly. Mildly cloudy. Okay, that was 45. Mess clear, wind, rain, heat waves, blizzard, thunderstorm, dust storm. I would just say cloud. Zero. Eleven thirty-two. Submit. Something didn't look right. Hmm. Why? Eleven thirty-two. Okay. Forty-five. One. Oh wait, do I have to put... What is my character's name? Oh my D, where's my D? Jack Nelson, ah. Okay, that's right. What, what could I possibly be missing? Did the knots change? Still 18 knots. Forty-five points. I swear if that's what it was. I wasn't sure if I had to put in the right weather. Clear? Okay. You copy, new guy? Tower 11. Yeah. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. You too, Connor Hawkins. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Good night. Over and out. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to sleep uh, my first night, and um, I think that's where the end of the video will be for today. Um, if you like it, uh, let me know in the comments. If you want me to keep playing this game, let me know. Um, I'll gladly play the other three um, videotapes. I have no problem with that. Um, but yeah, have a good night, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.